I noticed that one of my jars had something weird inside. To be honest, I don't really know what it is, but the mycelium didn't want to colonize that part. It was infected. But I had a feeling, a feeling that this jar will survive somehow. I will try something. The first step is to scoop out the contaminated part with a spoon, then just mix the healthy grains with the cocoa. And that's what I made. This is the progress four days later. Day 6 after spawn to book. And the next day is ready to be introduced in fruiting conditions. This is the first time I'm trying the dip top method. A quick smell test and it smells really good. You should introduce fruiting conditions when the surface is about 70% colonized. Here as you can see is about 60%. But in the next days it spreads very fast. Now let's tape it and it's ready. Here is day 2 into fruiting conditions. Day 5 you can start to see pins. At day 7 there are little mushies coming out. That's day 8. Day 9, they are getting bigger. At day 10, I was outside for a bit longer and as you can see, they got fuzzy feet. It means that they need more fresh air. Day 11, let's harvest them. Not bad for contaminated jar. As you can see, even when there is contamination, the mycelium can survive and give you a good fruit. Thanks for watching.